Hello, and welcome to another MATLAB how-to video. This time, I'll be showing you how to find the effect of final drive gear ratio on acceleration using the powertrain block set. We'll be using the conventional vehicle reference application. The goal is to test acceleration through measuring the difference between 0 to 60 times of two different final drive gear ratios under wide open throttle. So let's begin! To start, open the Simulink Start page and navigate to the Examples tab. Under the Powertrain Block Set dropdown, the first option should be the Conventional Vehicle Reference Application. This is a model of an internal combustion engine and transmission using blocks from the Powertrain Block Set and defined conditions. The goal is to find the effect of final drive on acceleration. So what is the final drive gear ratio? Well, it's the gear ratio between the output gear from the engine to the gear spinning the wheels connected through the transmission. To keep this explanation simple, we'll temporarily forget about the transmission gearing. A higher gear ratio will lead to an increased torque and acceleration with a loss in top speed, and the lower gear ratio will give the opposite effect of lower torque but higher top speed. Let's see if we can verify this. The first step to setting up this experiment is to turn on data logging for the velocity output. This can be found in the visualization tab. Then click on the data logging option on the velocity output arrow. It should say enable data logging. If you look to the top, you can see the subsystem tabs you're currently in. We're just in the visualization tab under the reference application. To go back to the main page, you can just click on the main tab. During this demonstration, we'll be using the assumption that the vehicle is under wide open throttle, or WOT. To define this, we'll go to the Drive Cycle tab and change the Drive Cycle source from Initial Condition to Wide Open Throttle. To ensure that the vehicle will hit 60 miles an hour, we'll change the time to start deceleration from 20 to 40 seconds and change the Wide Open Throttle simulation time to 50 seconds. Since we're only having the wide open throttle simulation go for 50 seconds, we can change the entire simulation period to match that. The next step is to change the final drive gear ratio to a value of 3. This will be under the passenger car tab where the vehicle is defined. Then at the bottom, there's a drivetrain tab which houses the differential and transmission. The final drive ratio is stored in the differential, so we'll go into that block. In this example, the car is front wheel drive. In the open differential block, we can define the final drive gear ratio. This is currently being defined as n diff, so we can open the value by clicking the three dots on the right and open the variable in the workspace. In this case, the value is already set to 3, so we won't change it for the first run. Now that we have specified the final drive gear ratio, we can click the run button at the top of the screen. Now that the first run has been completed, we can move on to running the simulation for a value of 2.5. To do this, let's go back into the open differential block and change the value ndiff to 2.5 instead of 3. Let's run the simulation again to get a new set of data. Now that the simulation is complete, we can view both sets of data in the Data Inspector at the top of the Simulation tab. Our second run is going to pop up first as the most recent run, so we'll select the second set of data which represents the actual velocity instead of the trace velocity. We'll rename this to diff ratio is 2.5. At the bottom is the run archive. This is where our first run is being stored, so we'll do the same thing and select the second set of data and rename this one diff ratio is 3. Now that we have our data in the graph so we can view it, right off the bat we can see the diff ratio of 3 causes the velocity to increase quicker, meaning greater acceleration. Let's find the 0 to 60 times of both and find the difference. To find the 0 to 60 times, we'll use the dual cursor function at the top of the screen. 
will match the two cursors to when the two different runs hit 60 miles an hour. Since the wide open throttle acceleration started at 5 seconds, we'll have to subtract that from our measured time for both cycles. The run with a final drive gear ratio of 3 took 13.2 seconds to reach 60, and the run with a final drive gear ratio of 2.5 took 17.4 seconds to reach 60 miles an hour, which is an extra 4.2 seconds. So by changing the final drive gear ratio from 3 to 2.5, the acceleration decreased by 24%. This matches the earlier prediction of having the higher final drive ratio lead to faster acceleration time. This was just a tiny example of what the powertrain Bloxit is capable of. If you wanted to follow along with some other examples at your own pace, you can find some in-depth examples under the Getting Started with Powertrain Bloxit page located here. I'll put the link below in the description so you can explore more. Thanks for listening, and I hope you all learned something new.